Daniel said. But that's not all the second way modern technology reveals. What did Daniel say there? And when you are approaching the end times, it's not just an increase of travel to and fro here and there. It's an increase of what? Of knowledge, folks. And once again, for perspective, you've got to keep in mind what Daniel was doing. His day was like when he wrote down the words of this prophecy. The amount of retrieving and sharing information was severely limited, folks. We did not even have the printing press until a few centuries ago. But look at us today. All in the last century alone. Are you getting it yet? In the last century alone, just like the Bible said, we are experiencing what? An explosion of information like never before. In fact, folks, let's get some information on information. Tell you how fast it is in our lifetime. Take a look at this, folks. The total store of human knowledge is doubling every eight years. That's how fast we're acquiring this information, like Daniel said in the last days. 80% of all scientists who've ever lived are alive today, folks. Every minute, 2,000 pages are added to man's scientific knowledge every single day. Sounds like we're hooked on information. The scientific material produced, get this, in one day would take one person five years to read. We don't even know what to do with all the information, okay? About a half a million new books are published every single year, and that's still all. Since 1970, get this amazing, computer technology has developed so fast that if the auto industry had developed at the same rate as computers, today's you could buy a Rolls Royce for three bucks, and you could fit eight of them on the head of a pin. <laughs> now, how many guys would say that that wouldn't do any good, except for me, because I'm the only one who could probably fit in one of those vehicles, <laughs> but so we won't go there. What? No, it's exploding faster than we can keep up with. But that's still all. A week, get this, a weekly edition of any major newspaper has more information than the average person in the 17th century would have come across in their entire life. It, there's information more than we can deal with, folks. Thanks to the internet, there's thousands of international papers at your fingertips every single day. The equivalent of over 300 million pages of text is sent over the internet with millions of sites of information. Get this, about half of all medical knowledge is outdated every 10 years. And in some scientific fields, such as biotechnology, the cycle is less than six months. That's how fast it is going nowadays. There are now wristwatches that wield more computing capability than some 1970s computer mainframes. Is more powerful than just your watch as you get at Wally World, okay? Ordinary cars today have more intelligence. You guys never heard Wally World? Yeah. All right, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> ordinary cars today, listen to this, have more intelligence than the original lunar lander. That's how fast it's going. And folks, here, pay attention to this one. The majority of the world either has a television set or what? Access to one. And speaking of that, you've got to pay attention. This is absolutely mind-blowing. Only in the last five to ten years, folks, has this passage of Scripture concerning God's faithful two witnesses during the tribulation as a time frame has actually been able to transpire, folks. Let's take a look at the text, folks, because of television. Revelation 11, uh, chapter, nine, or chapter 11, verses 9 through 10. For how many days? Three and a half days. Men from every people, tribe, language, and nation. What are they going to be doing? They're going to gaze upon their bodies and refuse them burial. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and, and will celebrate by what? Sending each other gifts over three and a half days because these two prophets had tormented those who lived on earth. You know how they tormented them? Tell them the truth about the gospel. Just like today, isn't it? As if we're doing something bad. Trying to rescue them. But here's my point, folks. Do you have any idea? Imagine 2,000 years ago when the Apostle John is writing this down. It must have seemed like some sort of weird, incredible fantasy. As he sees this vision, he sees the planet simultaneously watching two dead bodies rejoicing over their deaths and sending gifts to each other within three and a half days. Until now. Do you have any idea the days we live in? People right now, due to the advent, and we take it for granted. Of television and global satellite technology, you and I can watch anything we want, anytime we want, all over the world, simultaneously through television, can't we? Do you get it? And now get this, folks, with the birth of the internet, you and I, with the click of a mouse, can literally send a gift to anyone, anywhere on the planet, anytime within three and a half days. Do you get it? That's only happened, folks, in the last five or ten years. And the Bible said, when that happens, when you see that generation, you better wake up. You are in the last days. But that's